today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at creating an assignment for your course. Here I am at my course home. I'm going to go to Assignments. And this will take me to the Assignments area. And you can see that I have already created some assignments here and put them into Categories for Organization. But today we're going to create a new assignment. And in this Assignment tool, we can give it a title. And I want to choose to make this a graded assignment, so I'll click right in this box, give it a value of 100 points, and what this will automatically do is create an item in the gradebook for me, as you can see here. Now, if I had set up my items ahead of time, I could click here and link it to an existing item if I chose to. I could choose again to keep it, have it have a point value, but not put it in the gradebook, or again, reset it to ungrade it. But we're going to keep it in the gradebook. I can give it a due date by selecting a date on the calendar. And then here is where I'll install the instructions. Now you have this full Brightspace editor to you that's throughout Brightspace. So you can do this with videos, with links, anything that you chose to put in here for instructions, just so that your students clearly understand what is required for the assignment. And I'll put in some, some words there. Now you have the option to upload a file upload a link or a web link that would be attached to this assignment, record a video or audio file here as well if you didn't do so up in the Brightspace editor. And those will all be linked to the assignment for students to see. Now let's check out some other possibilities or adjustments that you can be made with the assignment. Availability dates and conditions. Now if you don't do anything in these items, the students will be able to see and interact with it as soon as you make this assignment visible down here. You know, the magic eye that you see throughout the course. If you wanted students to see that this assignment was upcoming, but perhaps not interact with it, you could um, add some dates here. So they wouldn't be able to submit anything until that start date was available, and then they wouldn't be able to submit anything after this end date. Be, um, became to pass. Okay. Again, you have the ability to set up release conditions in here, which those same release conditions for an assignment that exists with so many other um, opportunities in Brightspace. So this assignment would not become available to students until they did some other task, perhaps uh, click on a various piece of content or watch a video or some other access um, point in the course or you could set up special access. Perhaps you only wanted to make this um, particular assignment available to a few students, students in a particular group or whatever. That's what you could set up here. The submission and completion, essentially this is the kind of assignment that you want it to be. So the individual assignment is that every student would be able to hand something in. A group assignment essentially would mean that you would set up some groups in the group tool and then once one member of that group submitted that assignment that would be submitted for the entire group and then when you graded that assignment every student in that group would receive the identical grade. The submission types you have available to you are a file submission which is pretty standard they'd upload um, some sort of file to meet the requirements for that assignment. They could just do a text submission, which essentially they would get an editor box much like this one, and they would type in their response there. And these other two you can put in so that if a student was going to give you a hard copy or you were going to observe a presentation in person, then um, the assignment could still be listed in there, and then you could submit a grade once you'd gone over that paper submission or observed that um, file. These are pretty self-explanatory. You could um, have a student um, put in as many files as they would like for um, a particular assignment. And this can be a good idea because it will allow students to perhaps upload another file if they made a mistake in the one that they put in. And then you can decide how many submissions or of those files you're going to um, take and so forth. And then if you'd like to, this notification email would send you an email every time a student made a submission. Could result in a lot of emails, so I'd save it for special situations. Then the evaluation and feedback, you can add a rubric that you've built in the rubric tool that assists that then students will be able to see that rubric as well, and you could use it for grading. 
Um, and then this is a great idea, the annotation tools in the grading tool that becomes available after this submission is done is a wonderful thing, so I would leave that checked. And then if you wanted to um, grade these blindly you could, or anonymously, you could um, check that box there and have, you know, hide the students' names. And then again, if they turn it in, the plagiarism tool that is available could be turned on if you wanted it to be for this assignment. And that's essentially the options that you have available. And then once you click Save and Close, you'll see that that assignment was built into the book. And if we just take a quick look at the grade book, and we go to Manage Grades here, you'll see that that assignment appears in my grade book as well and is attached to this assignment. And if you click this little question mark, you can see that it was, is assigned to um, assignment number four, which we just created with a max point value of 100 points. And that's about it. If you have any questions about assignments or any other aspect of Brightspace, feel free to reach out to us. Be well and have a great day.